And the U.S. Forest Service has now jumped into the cause for stopping potential mining near Yellowstone National Park. MTN's Morgan Davies takes a look at the steps they're taking and how the public can help. There are two mines proposed near Yellowstone National Park. These mines have received a large amount of negative feedback from locals, tourists, and conservationists. Um, the Forest Service is evaluating the opportunity to withdraw these lands, which would prevent the mines from occurring for 20 years. The Forest Service has released papers looking at why these lands should be withdrawn for mining purposes and are asking the public to review them. We strongly encourage those who value the public lands, value Yellowstone National Park and the river and the wildlife to look at those documents and let the Forest Service know that you would like to see those lands set aside for the next 20 years. Many view this study by the Forest Service as a step in the right direction. Conservation groups still hope that our leaders like Senator Tester and Congressman Gianforte will be able to pass a bill that stops mining permanently. I think whenever you start talking about large-scale mining on the doorstep of the first park this nation's ever set up and the headwaters of the Yellowstone River, it tends to get people's attention and they start understanding pretty quick. In Bozeman, Morgan Davies, MTN News. And when we come back, Curtis has much more for us, including the ever-changing wintry-like forecast. And later in the show, Russia flexes its nuclear muscles, testing a powerful missile capable of striking the United States. 